the S07 Silver Cup is next. This is another listed race over 10 furlongs this time. Top one is Keskianto, Janella for Dan Hughes, the living legend Joshua Sutherland, acclaimed Craig Beckwith, Barwell beside David Robertson. Big celebration, Leon van Rensburg, Caballo, Simo, Obi-Wan, Dandery, Note, Craig Allen, Tajikistan, Paul Rhodes, Queen of Queens, Craig Beckwith, Song of Exile, Leon van Rensburg, Mustard Envoy, Ron Costello and Zagarini's Baldini for Dan Hughes. Twelve of them meant this time, all installed and ready to go. And away they go. Uh, making their way through the first furlong or so. There's a line of about five or six of them all interested in the lead. It looks like it's going to be Zagalini's Boldini that gets the rail over on the far side. I do like calling that one. It's some names you just like saying. And Zagalini's Boldini is definitely one of them. Tajik's done though, has now come through to challenge for the lead. Big celebration is also up there. And it's probably those two that are going to dispute it. Tajik's done in the white with a green hoop now being pressed by Mustard Envoy in second then Big Celebration is back in third really wide on the track is the living legend as they were well inside the final mile now and uh, Mustard Envoy leads by half a length to Tajik Stan in second and Big Celebration third living legend wide is fourth and then acclaimed is after that one Dandery Note and Barwell beside her after that one uh, Zagalini's Boldin is dropped back to last now, but Mustard Envoy leads by about a length to Tajik Stan second and Big Celebration third. Gap back to Queen of Queens and Acclaim, then Barwell beside and Dandery Note, Keski and Arto. Janella's trying again to it. Caballo Simo is also looking for room. The Living Legend is still widest on the trap, but it's still Mustard Envoy that's in the lead from Tajik Stan in second. Big Celebration looks to be going well in third as they raced away from us there for a second or two, and Mustard Envoy is in the lead by half a length to Tajikistan. Look at this, Zagalini's Baldini. He's come right through from last now to challenge for the lead. It's Mustard Envoy in the lead. Zagalini's Baldini is second. Dandery Note is now coming out of the pack as they race past the three furlong pole. Mustard Envoy under strong pressure from Zagalini's Baldini in second. The big celebration is next to Living Legend to claim Barwell beside. Plenty of with chances now as they come down towards the final two. Mustard Envoy about to be collared by Zagalini's Baldini. Big celebration and Barwell beside them. Queen of Queens and Dandery Note. Some of exiles after that one, but it's Zagalini's Baldini into the final. For one of them, are about to go then now, and Zagalini's Baldini from Barwell beside in big celebration. Then comes Dandery Note and Queen of Queens. Zagalini's Baldini still in front from Barwell beside, racing inside the final half. Well, Zagalini's Baldini still a length clear. Then Barwell decide after that one, a big celebration, but Zagalini's Baldini takes it. And Zagalini's Baldini is the winner. An inadvertent tip for me at the beginning of the race. And. It was the easy winner, really, for a good couple of lengths. In fact, it looked like it was going away at the end. So Zagalini's Baldini takes it a ridiculous price. So Zagalini's Baldini for Dan Hughes is the winner. Barwell beside for David Robertson was second. Big celebration for Leon van Rensburg third. Dandery Note, Craig R fourth. And Song of Exile, Leon van Rensburg was fifth.